Today is the opening ceremony of the Beijing 2022 Olympic Winter Games. But why is the opening ceremony such a big deal? Well, of course, it's the start of the Games, although it's not quite the start of the Games. Often at the Games now, you have some competition, some heats taking place before the opening ceremony. So it's not officially the beginning, but it symbolises the beginning of the Games. And it also symbolises the coming together of all those symbols that surround the Olympic movement. So the coming together of nations, everyone comes together to celebrate athletic excellence, to celebrate the peacetime experience that is the Olympic Games, unique perhaps because of its claim that it is the only peacetime event where people do come together from so many different countries. And uh, we often hear discussions about what's the biggest event in the world. And I think partly because the Olympics brings together so many different nations, it is able to make that sort of claim. So we have the athletes all marching next to each other, celebrating their, their achievements at getting to the Olympic Games. We have the spectators, the public are there present to, to recognize these, these talents. We have the volunteers, the community of people that is putting together the whole thing and making it possible. The Olympic Games entirely reliant upon those thousands of volunteers that support the delivery of the Games. We have the creators, the artists, not just any artist. Often the opening ceremony is populated by the best artists of a country and often internationally as well. We see also, and this may be the most important part, we see how the host country and host city also presents its identity, its heritage and its values. So the opening ceremony has been analyzed by academics all over the world because of these meanings that are implicit or explicit within the narrative that's been constructed through the ceremony. A narrative that often focuses on heritage, on the creative talent that's underpinned a nation's historical development. Often technological innovation is showcased at the opening ceremony to demonstrate the excellence within that territory. So all of these things come together and we also have the formal protocols like the, the raising of the Olympic flag, we have the lighting of the torch of the cauldron and together these are the things that make the Olympic Games historic. They are the things that we refer to and, and refer back to later in time to demonstrate how important it was. And the investment that goes into it is also an investment of the most creative talent within a country too. So it's the most important symbol of what the Games is all about. And it kicks off and launches all those different days of activity and competition that follow. It's the context in which we begin to then evaluate whether these games were a success.